our man Teddy Kegstaff. Folks, we talk to Teddy every Wednesday at 40 past the hour, hour, but you can find Teddy every day under the newsletter tab with the Tiger Forex report. Folks, he puts out an outstanding week, weekly report every Monday with coverage of many different Forex pairs, the crude market, the note and bond market. And when you sign up, folks, you gain instant access to an archive of a webinar Teddy just did, 60-minute webinar, Forex strategies and fundamentals, what is behind the Tiger Forex report newsletter. You gain that instantly. You get 30 days, folks. If you don't like it, 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. And in this market, we got Forex and bonds and yields and crude running just about everything. And we got a big day with a Fed day. Teddy Kegstack, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, we do. It's well, I think it's going to be kind of a sloppy, choppy trade until 1.15, especially once we get to about 11, 12 o'clock. So. And you're talking about your time central, Teddy. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. That is correct. Perfect. So right yes. in between that Fed 2 o'clock action. Uh, mm -hmm. So I guess on Fed Day, why don't we start off with what you're looking for maybe even today? Are you looking for anything? You're going to wait and see what's up for uh, opinions on the Federal Reserve and what they're going to be talking about at 2, 2.30? Uh, well, I think three-quarter height. Uh, basis point hike, I think, is what's going to happen. Uh, I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, that the, the news since a week and a half ago, you know, they've been saying, you know, the Fed's going to stop raising interest rates and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, they're going to slow. And I think next year would be when that happens. But it's data dependent. And there is not a, a reason in sight for them to even think that inflation is going to be curbed. I mean, it's now you have power companies across the Northeast that are sending out warning letters to the or customers saying hey you know expect power uh, blackouts this winter you know and expect you know that you need to have backup generators and things like that i mean when have you ha had electric companies sending out letters like that to their you know customers you know and if yeah. that's the case and i think that we're going to see a big surge in heating oil and other uh, raw commodities this winter you know especially when it comes to energy and how is that going to keep inflation down that's going to just make inflation go higher you know so and i would watch the gold market the gold market starting to look like it wants to break out to the upside and if that happens i think you're going to start to see you know um some big swings in the dollar especially i think you might have a big drop off in the dollar coming if that happens as well you made a perfect segue because you were talking about crude prices and i was thinking to myself okay if you're really looking for you know an acceleration on energy prices because in theory, we should be being helped, and it's not just in theory, right? We have a strong mm -hmm. dollar, so when it comes to buying worldwide commodities, you should be benefited if you're paying in dollars. So if you're going to see that rise, do we see? I mean, the dollar, it's been quite a run. Uh, I guess let's jump to the dollar. We're at 111.31 right now, the dollar index. So are you looking for potentially as we roll over from, from some of these higher levels uh, into the future for the dollar? What's your action on the dollar? Um, well, I still think that right now we're just in a little bit of a correction to the downside with the dollar. Um, yesterday, anyone who got the Tiger report from the week knows that we came just shy of our upside correction zone for this current rally. We had a buy signal last week in the dollar index going into this Fed meeting. And when we talked last Wednesday, I told you this is kind of what I was looking for was for yields to pull back, the dollar to pull back into this meeting, which now it has done so. And the question is, is what is the market perception going to be? You know, I mean, the, the, all the media outlets are calling for rates to stop uh, rising and even for maybe cuts to happen next year eventually. Well, that's not happening. That's just not <laughs> happening whatsoever. I mean, that's the biggest joke in the world. It's, I mean, right now we have a buy the rumor, sell the facts situation being pushed by all the media outlets. And you can tell the markets are, they don't lie, you know, and that's why I say you got to watch the gold market. So I think in the short run, you know, you're going to see, um, maybe a little bit of dollar um, problems, you know, where you're going to see a little dollar weakness. Overall, the trend, I think, going into the next few months is going to still be very bullish to dollar. Next year is when the dollar is going to turn, you know, as other economies globally start to crash. I mean, you have Germany and, and France this week are now saying that they need to have talks with the United States about trade uh, indifferences, you know, and about how America's, you know, new inflation bill, how that's going to affect Europe and how yeah. it's hurting them, you know, and I'll tell you what. It's a fact, you know. I mean, they all—they already did it to themselves as far as their energy issues. Right now, you cut—you couple it with America's. You know, we we backed off of China, but now we're doing to the, the EU what we did. We, what Trump did to China. We, <laughs> how is that going to work out well? You know. So, and even if the you know the Fed's looking at you know these other central banks are starting to finally raise rates. Well, that means that they have to continue to raise rates. Otherwise, the imbalance that they've created starts to shrink, 
you know, between the, 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 the yield curve differentials, you know, which is what they want in order to supposedly, in theory, curb inflation, which that's not how you do it anyhow. But that's their narrative. That's their game. And I think they're going to stick to it. You know, I heard you wondering, like, how is Powell going to come out, you know, um, when it comes to speak, you know, today and also probably in the next week or two? Well, I, I agree. I think he's going to be like he was when, you know, during the conferences. He's this guy's not messing around until he sees real data driven reasons to say that inflation is now being not just curbed but is is pulling pulling back he's not going to change his stance why would he that goes against his whole narrative you know he's not going to flip and flop because the media is putting pressure on him saying oh inflation is curbed we've we're out of the woods and you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel um well, that's not their job you know it's his job to make that decision and right now i think he's going to do that you know so overall long term it's bullish the dollar going into next year, but get ready for some swings, especially if you see gold break out to the upside. You know, it's very likely you could see a 10, 15 percent correction in the end, you know, yeah, which would not be a big deal at these levels. I mean, sure. if we go from 150 back to 135 and then find a bottom and come back up again, that would be normal volatility. And that's what's, what traders should expect to see, you know, I mean, because that should that's would be a very normal functioning market if we do something like that you know so but i mean anything can happen we know that but that's the situation that we're ripe for i wouldn't be buying into what you're hearing on all the other outlets right now with saying that the fed's going to back off we all have a take uh, i like your take i agree with a lot of the take man and we get to find out in the future as we go forward folks <laughs> whose take is correct um but that's in in the way you said it because even if you get a little optimism, which maybe we get mm -hmm. at this meeting, probably probably more so than we've had maybe recently um, in some of, whether it's Jackson Hole or something like that. I don't think he's going to be that tough, right? But no matter what, and I agree, mm -hmm. he's going to wait for the data. So it might be one of those scenarios that, again, he just kind of says, I'm going to wait for the data. And the market says, we love that because now we're not on a path. But guess what, man? We've mm -hmm. got to wait for the data. And if it doesn't come, um, he's got to worry about his legacy to a certain degree, man. And, Correct. you know. At least he followed the data he can say in his own legacy, in his own defense, right? That he thought he was following the data and he was going to wait mm -hmm. and make sure inflation was a huge problem because he didn't think it was. Well, the data became undeniable. He's got to wait for the data to be undeniable on the other side if that's kind of what got him in the mess in the first place. But boy, we get to find out at 2.30. So if, if you get that type of language and you get a lift in the equity markets, um, Maybe that's a setup for a similar scenario where then we get those mm -hmm. CPI prints and we say, hold on, man, if we're data de de dependent, we got ahead of ourselves uh, going forward. Can you stay I'll with us, you, Teddy? I bet, you the, I bet you yields are going to be a lot higher in a, in a week and a half, two weeks from now than they are right now. And when you, I know you look at the 30 or I know you look at many and it says that across the board, in, the, in terms of the yield, long term, short term, short term, effectively higher, what, what do you think? I think effectively right now, short term and long term, that the rate yields are going higher. We're going to see them trend higher into December's meeting. Absolutely. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Unless, Ted, I'm just, unless the chairman changes his tune, and then I'm wrong. Then it Teddy, would be the we're going to know a lot more when we talk to you next week, man. I appreciate the time, Sounds as good. always, and we'll talk to you next Wednesday. Thanks, Tommy. Have a good one. Thanks, man.